<laughs> Tony, Tony, where's that? Uh, Excuse me, we gotta go. Tony, Tony, didn't you promise me a copy here? Not every valid vote has been counted, and some have been counted twice. So today I'm announcing that I've instructed my legal team to file an election contest according to Minnesota law. Norm Coleman, as you've probably heard already, is filing an election contest, a lawsuit. In fact, here's a whole bunch of paper that explains it. They handed this paper out today at the news conference he held. Uh, but not all the reporters read it, or at least took the time to read it, and some of them were asking some questions that were already answered within these papers. I'm, I'm going to encourage you, like, like a, a teacher uh, with pupils, which is a bad analogy, I know, but uh, read the lesson um, and, and, and review it, and we'll follow up on any questions you may have. Now, I had some questions about this lawsuit, but I didn't know what those questions were until after the news conference. The reason being, this lawsuit, this piece of paper, this bunch of papers, was not given to the uptake until after the news conference. I'd, it's not because we didn't ask for it. I went up and asked Mark Drake uh, from the Coleman campaign if we could have a copy of it. And he said no, uh, because we have an ax to grind. I disputed that, and he still wouldn't give me a copy of this, so I had to go to some extreme lengths during the news conference to get it. Because you said that the students here should read what you handed out, yet uh, Mr. Drake here is not giving it to everybody, saying that some of the media here has an axe to He's with a liberal blog. No, we're not a liberal blog. We are a Sir, sir, we'll get your copy. Yeah, All right, can we proceed with the press conference? Thank you. Thank you. From the Capitol Press Corps. We are from the Capitol Press. Are there... <laughs> Tony, Tony, where's that... Uh, Tony, we gotta go. Tony, Tony, didn't you promise me a copy here? Tony? Yes, you did. You promised me a copy. Can you please give me a copy, please? I try to be. We have streamed almost every minute of this whole proceeding, so I don't know what more fair is than that. And again, this is our first read on this, and we did not get a chance to ask questions about this lawsuit. They are hereby appeal the decision from the Minnesota State Canvassing Board in declaring Al Frank and the contestee herein to have been elected to that office and entitled to a certificate of election. Let's, I think that's the first correction in the lawsuit is that the canvassing board did not declare Al Franken to have been elected. They declared that he had the most votes. Simply, we are uh, certifying the results from November 4th election. We're not doing anything today that declares winners or losers, anything that affects. Uh, Norm Coleman, uh, they go through and tell us that he is the uh, United States Senator uh, from the state of Minnesota. We should correct that. He is not the United States Senator from the state of Minnesota. He is the former state senator from the state of Minnesota. His term ended last Saturday. And then ballots from rejected absentee ballot envelopes, which were erroneously opened and counted by the Minnesota Secretary of State's office on Saturday, January 3rd. Okay. Uh, those should not have been opened and counted because the opening of such ballots was not agreed to by the representatives of the Coleman for Senate campaign. Okay. Um, we seem to remember as we watched uh, on our videotape that uh, we had agreement from both campaigns on those ballots. No objection. No objection. No objection. So we are going through the, uh, again, lawsuit, which uh, took a little bit of persistence by me to get a copy of, but we do thank the Norm Coleman campaign for recognizing us as media, finally, and giving us a copy of their press release. We are very grateful. Thank <laughs> you.